Hi everyone, welcome to our video. Do you already know that Plex RT Box 2 and 3 can support industrial Ethernet protocol such as EtherCAT? The EtherCAT interface is directly accessible from the industrial Ethernet port at the back side of the box. Today, I will give you a simple demo of this feature using my RT Box 2 and an industrial controller from Beckhoff. First, let's take a closer look at the hardware setup. Here is my RT Box 2, which works as an EtherCAT slave. And next to it, I have the Beckhoff embedded PC with EtherCAT extension, which works as the EtherCAT master. To give you more details, the Beckhoff embedded PC is plugged in with analog inputs, analog outputs, digital IOs connected with LEDs, and an EtherCAT extension. All the part numbers can be found in the description of this video. The Beckhoff EtherCAT extension has an RJ45 socket, which enables further connection to the next EtherCAT compatible device along the EtherCAT network. This blue Ethernet cable is used for this purpose. It is plugged in to the industrial Ethernet port at the back side of the box. The RT box transmits EtherCAT packets right through this cable. The application model is built in Plex and loaded onto the box via another black Ethernet cable between the normal Ethernet port of my box and my PC. TwinCAT 3 software on my PC is used to configure and program the EtherCAT devices. Another black Ethernet cable is connected between the backoff controller and my PC for this purpose. Now let's start the deployment process. I have this Plex model pre-built. It uses the EtherCAT block from the RTBox target support library. Inside this block, it describes the data structure of the EtherCAT message going out and into the box. Also, a unique EtherCAT address is defined for this box. Let's run the offline simulation to see the results first. Here an integer sine wave and eight Boolean signals are generated and configured as inputs to this block. Therefore, they are packed into the EtherCAT message. The box will also receive some signals from the EtherCAT bus and they are configured as outputs of this block. One can also connect a scope to the output signals and visualize them during runtime. Now, I will move on to build this Plex application model onto my RT box. Once the building process is finished, let's connect to the external mode and verify the real-time running waveforms. Indeed, we see the expected sine wave and eight Boolean signals where each one is high for half a second, one after another. Later on, I will utilize these eight signals on the back of device side. To do so, I need to use the TwinCAT 3 software. Here I have it open and already created an empty TwinCAT project. Under the project tree I.O. devices, I right click and scan. And I continue to scan for boxes. Automatically, all the EtherCAT devices along the bus can be discovered. These include all the I.O. cards of my backoff device and also the RT box. Let's extend the tree of the RT box to see the inputs. Here we can see the same sine wave and eight Boolean signals that are blinking one after the other. Now let's move on to the digital IOs of the backoff device. Here are the eight digital output channels called channel 9 to channel 16. And they are connected to the eight 
green LEDs at the lower half of the digital I.O. card. To make an example, we can online write 1. To the first digital output channel, here we can observe that the first LED is light up. Then we online write 0, back to the off state. Now, more interestingly, I would like to create a link between the eight digital signals coming from the RT box EtherCAT message and the eight LEDs of my backoff device. To do so, I start with the first Boolean signal and link it to the first digital output channel. And I continue with the second one and so on and so forth. Once it's done, I come here to click Reload Devices. Immediately, we can see these LEDs blinking pattern show on the digital output channels of my backup device, which are controlled from the EtherCAT message coming from the RT box. This is the end of our demo showcasing the EtherCAT feature of the RT box. Hope you have enjoyed it. See you next time.